Welcome back to Hasib Electronics. In our last session, while diagnosing this low voltage power supply, we detected that this IC is damaged. This is SD6834 and this 5 volt regulator, it was bad. So I replaced 5 volt regulator, but unluckily this IC is not commercially available. I have to solve the issue. What I did, I have this charger, it is HP brand. It have 32 volt and 16 volt. So this 30, 32 volt and 16 volt, we cannot use 16 volt, we cannot use 32 volt because it is high and it is low. So I decreased the output using a resistor. I uploaded video how you can adjust, decrease, increase the output of any SMPS. So I decreased the output by connecting this 7 kilo ohm resistor instead of 10 kilo ohm resistor so I will adjust it here so now I am able to take the voltage 27 volt our actual power supply that was 25 volt so here I have 27 volt so 27 volt it is safe because our regulators have 31 volt limit so I applied these voltage 27 volt at the input terminal of this capacitor so here is the output of this winding, this transformer secondary. This is anode and this end is cathode. Cathode is connected to this capacitor and ground. I connected the ground terminal of this power supply to the ground of the capacitor and positive end to the positive output supply. So let's check the circuit and check the output of the regulators, voltage regulators. So here I have this end is ground, this end is ground and this end is positive. I am taking 27 volt. Now, ground and here I am taking 14 volt, 14.9 14 volt that is 15 volt. Here I am taking 15 volt and here I am taking 5 volt. So our both regulators are good and check frequency of the inverter section. It is 47 kilohertz, that's nice. Check output voltage of inverter section, it is 1.3 volt, that's good. I can fix it in this body and we can place this body inside the welding machine anywhere using straps or using screws. We will see how we can fix it. Mainly we received the voltage and we bypassed this section. Then we will check the output of the rectifier. Now I connected a wire for AC input, AC line here and now I am fixing it. And now our resistors are placed in this point. This is positive output of the supply 16 volt section and it is uh, pin number 1 of TL431. Now our this system is safe. Now I will close the box. Now we covered this input side. Now we are going to pack it. We can see the output terminals, the rectifier terminals. These are too much dirty. It have too much dust and corrosion oxides. We have to clean it. Make a proper inspection. Use a cleaning solvent and properly clean. First, we can use sandpaper. Surface must be equal so that when we will fix it, it will make a good connection. Use a sandpaper. Make a good cleaning. The dust is being removed. It should be clean. If you think it needs some soldering, apply a good layer of a solder so that it should give a proper contact to the output terminals. If there is a minor amount, minor amount of dust between the plate and this PCB, it will make a very huge amount of resistance while making high current connection. 
this side is clear now I am applying solder flux first of all clean it we can see it have very high amount of carbon on the layer after cleaning I will apply another layer of solder flux now it is cleaned you can use a cleaning solvent but the solder flux is also a very good cleaner using soldering gun I will apply a layer of solder the surface should plane make it smooth so that it will make a full connection with the output terminal now our this contact is renewed properly when we have done this it is now got a long life when you are assembling make a proper inspections so that it should not fail again if, you, if there is something up and down use a smooth file and make it equal plane it apply a good amount of heat sink compound to the basis of these rectifiers because it is uh, very important for thermal conductivity now install the screws and the mounting we have four screws here now I am going to connect in this heat sink fitting tighten it don't tighten it too much hand tight and give a proper torque apply heat sink compound to IGBT bases when we applied heat sink compound after that we have to fix it here on these plastic studs now connect the transformer connection here so now our this module is ready to fit in the chassis let it at side and our this set is also ready there is nothing wrong just we have to renew these soldering joints in this way you will extend its life so this point is loose it should not lose so we have to apply some solder so that it will be fixed
so our this power supply will fix here now we have option to connect this point here Now make insulation. Always take care for equipment safety and personal safety. In the personal safety and equipment safety must be kept in mind all the time. Strap tight, Toby. So for the final check, set multimeter to continuity, connect to both input leads, it should not read anything, set to a hum, it is giving high resistance, 450 kilo ohm, reverse the leads, it should reverse. Set multimeter to diode mode. It is giving 382 volt DC drop in the diode mode. Reverse the leads. So our input output is safe. So now we can connect the power and we can check the result. So we can set the current. Now set multimeter to DC volt. So we have 69 volt DC. Sixty-six. So when we will connect a load it will make welding we have output in this welding machine this IC was damaged so this IC and it was not available its number is SD6834 but it is not available in the market so even if we replace another IC the most problem if you replace IC without any proper 
circuit calculation maybe this transformer will heat up because flux density will not match frequency will not match it will not give proper output i installed a printer power supply adjusted it at 27 volt applied to this capacitor in parallel positive of this power supply to positive and negative to negative ac input to ac input terminals now our this circuit is working properly this ac line is connected here from this point ac input terminals now our this circuit is working we are adjusting the output at 200 ampere and we have output voltage here so it's functional now i hope so this video is good for you if it is good hit the like button thanks for watching assalamu alaikum